I remember buying a wool sweater from Old Navy. Okay. And I'm going to describe it and you're going to be upset and that's fine and fair. Old and Navy was- has wool or like. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Regular Pop. Ooh. My name is Patrick Murray. And I'm Stacey McGonagall. And this is episode five. Five Alive. Five Alive. The thrill is real. We are angels, and we are coming Uh, down from the universe to bless you with knowledge that you may or may not need, but will come in handy when you need to talk to someone you don't want to. Speaking of angels, I heard someone talk about like if you- <laughs> Okay, so have you watched Surviving Death on Netflix and have I talked to you about it eight times already? No, none of this. So this is all new to me and I have it. I didn't even know that this was a show. So I am obsessed. I have like, I have gone zero to 60 on um like frou-frou new agey. Right stuff hence why it looked like my hair was on fire in the last episode Well, do we want to talk about that first because this is the second time you've brought it up i didn't notice you were burning incense and it did look like your your hair was on fire (laughs) for the whole thing (laughs) well first of all it's nice that you have a a slow burning incense (laughs) It must be nice to be rich. But not even like a second of a check-in or of like, is something burning? Are you on fire? This is the problem that I'm trying to work on is I don't <laughs> like, I would be on the Titanic and be like on the lifeboat being like, why are we even here? Like what happened? And someone would be like, it's sinking. And then I'd be like, oh my God. There's like the band played on and you're the one person still there like- <laughs> Yeah, being like they got like they like they got rid of the food really quick. Like I wouldn't have noticed. So, um, uh, so it's about people with near death experiences, Mm -hmm. and I have had sex with someone who had a near death experience. (laughs) So that took a twist, and I have had sex with someone. (laughs) Basically, it was like it was really interesting. We. Um, so we'd had sex and then we're like talking after to be like, what's your name? Like, who are you? Um, (laughs) Real, real facts. Go on. And, um, and you know, we stumbled on to the fact that he had died. Um, uh, and, and I was like, I was like, oh, like, I don't know. I think probably kind of flippantly was like, oh, like, did you see a white light? Like, did you like, like, was there like a pop off? And <laughs> yeah. and he goes like, um, yeah, I, I usually don't like to talk about it. It was. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're over it. Well, no, I just think if you almost died and you came back, that might be a tale that you lead with. I just think, I, you know. Well, it was like, yeah. So he, he was like, I usually don't like to talk about it because it was actually like so intense. I had to go to therapy for it. Okay. Well, I immediately take some steps back off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm holding it and I'm respecting the boundary. <laughs> okay. And he's like, I have well, PTSD. And you're yeah, like, I- and we respect. That we respect it, but Brian, don't bring it up at brunch. I'm just saying, if you're gonna say you almost died, you can't just then ask oh for the, the bill. It's like the person with the tattoo, and you're like, Oh, what's it for? and they're like, I didn't, I don't want to talk about it. And you're and like, like, You're wearing a sleeveless shirt, yeah, and it's your whole arm. What do you mean? I can't ask a few cues, yeah. It's a giant date, <laughs> like, yeah, obviously, it's when someone either lived or died, but yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> so he was like, um, uh, he was like, yeah, it was really intense. I had to go to like a group. Like, I went to group therapy for it. Cause he was like, I didn't even know how to talk about it to people because like it was so intense. Yes, there was this feeling of like it not being my time and that there was these like things that like I don't even know how to describe things that were like watching over me and had been with me my whole life. Right. Um, and he was like, I didn't know how to articulate it. And it was like kind of 
too much for me to handle, to Whoa. process. So I went to this group therapy for like other people who had done it and they were all kind of like girl same. And, and I was like, and also he was like, not the type, um, you know, in that one conversation we had, I did get to know him quite well. Um, <laughs> did you ever see him again? <laughs> did you? I did. I did okay, see okay. him like, um, like a year later. Um, okay. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I'm dying. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> cool tattoo. The date. <laughs> Lived or died? Kind of both. Lived or died. Yeah. <laughs> Work. Uh, how's group going? <laughs> um, <laughs> so disrespectful. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so wow. I, and he wasn't like, he was kind of the type that like seemed very um, uh, kind of like cynical and logical right, right. type. Like not like, yeah, not that way right. where I just thought like, I believe this. I mean, I totally believe in ghosts and spirits. I mean, I definitely like, I feel like I've told you my spirit guide story a million trillion gajillion times because only so many interesting things happened to me. But um, one day I had this apartment and it was for sure haunted. Like one day um, my boyfriend at the time was like, had like a pot on the stove and then <clears throat> was working and forgot about it. And it just like reduced completely down and out of nowhere, like the air vent from the stove turned on, which like we didn't even know was an option. Like we'd never used it. So all of a sudden, and like all the cupboards were open and then, <clears throat> which was weird in the kitchen. And then one night I was like home alone. And this happened a couple times. I like woke up and at the foot of the bed was like this tall man in like a thin suit with like a woman. <clears throat> they were looking over me and I was like- Oh, and he had a date? And he had a date. The, and which also the audacity to like bring a guest to haunt me, like just make me feel special, <laughs> first of all. You're like, um, I get it, you're taken. <laughs> like, yeah. it's like, I saw the, cool. the ring was enough. Yeah, He's it was like, enough, and it's too big. The guy who's always just being like, my girlfriend, my girlfriend, well, my girlfriend, you're like, no, we got it. And that is true. Like, if you think about it as a ghost, like, they're not going to change their personality. They're always going to bring a plus one to a haunting. But <laughs> oh, my God. Is it okay you're like, this Jeanette changes comes? the vibe. It changes the haunting. Like, now I'm worried about her, and, like, <laughs> I'm not as scared. And I need to establish to her that I'm safe, and I'm not after her man. I'm not, and, like, you're bringing an alpha vibe that I didn't ask <laughs> into my bedroom. Um, but so he should like, have. I'm a woman that supports other women. And I want to establish that right off the bat. A thousand percent. No questions asked. We are sisters, <laughs> not enemies. But you're really challenging my boundary. You're in my bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know. Early. So then when I was in LA, I was getting Reiki done from, um, someone I had just kind of recently met and they were starting this practice. So I was in a writing group with them and they were like, Hey, can I like try out my new practice. And I was like, of course. So then she does this full reading and she's doing Reiki. And then she's like, hey, this is what I see. And I was really struggling with LA. And she's like, I see this man, tall man in like a suit. And he's like holding your shoulders. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, that's the ghost from Christmas past who brought a plus one to my haunting. And I'm like, I, I've seen that man multiple times. And we both got chills. And she's like, that's your spirit guide that follows you. And you're like, did he finally ditch Joanne? Like, <laughs> well, yeah. Like, what's their deal? You're like, like what's the shift? Like, like, do you think on the other side there's still like tea? Oh my god! Of course. What? Like, they're floating around talking shit. Like, because that's my you know? thing. Is like, is like, what if? Um, first of all, what if like when I become an orb, like I can't get fucked anymore? I don't think that that's the case. I think that's like, you know, when like someone's passed in your life and like, I think about this with my grandmother who was like so close to me. I'm like, glad she that was, that reminded you of your grandmother. Well, I mean, do we ever got to get fucked? <laughs> but um, I just think about like when your life is like kind of tits up and you're just like, hey, what's going on up there? Could you cut me a fucking break? Do you think? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. You know, but I'm sure that they're off like getting fucked, having some fun, talking right. about, you know? I would, like, what I want is, I think what's probably tough about me 
is that like if I'm if I go like full Patrick orb at the pearly gates, <laughs> just straight up before I enter. <laughs> look, I'm going to let you know I'm down to live that orb life and to like pop in and out and help someone out. No, yep. I don't want it to be any of my relatives. I just want it to be someone famous. Bye. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm cool to not see anybody. Um, no, no, no. Like yeah. if I have like grandchildren, I'll be like, they'll be fine. Give me a grande. Like, I don't know which grande by then what if you will got be stuck with Frankie. Oh, <laughs> then Frankie's going to have some bad luck. <laughs> I don't want to, I mean, you know, no offense to Frankie. I just think that my orb and his orb wouldn't jive. I just don't think that would be, that'd be the weirdest haunting for oh, anyone. Oh, I thought you were saying that I was going to be like, like spirit guiding Frankie, where I just <gasps> always be like. <laughs> no, I imagine you orbing together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like, it's his actual family and it's me. And like, we're just like on the job together. And I'm like, oh my God. Um, do we want to talk about um, a story that you've brought to the table here? Um, is this is the this juice box ca- photo? Yeah, the juice box of it <laughs> okay, all. Okay, so I'm going to get canceled. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I, was, okay. I was just showing this photo because when you came in, you were very red. Um, and it kind okay. of reminded me of this. Wow. Of like- <laughs> wow. Okay. So, wow. So I have walked in. I have walked into just absolute murder. <laughs> You go, hey, can you um, can you put this photo up? And I was like, okay. And then you're like, we should probably talk about it off the top. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain here. <laughs> this is so true. But like, honestly, like also, I wish that the contour of my red ass face was this. Oh. <laughs> Well, you came in and I was like, are you wearing like a purpley blush? Okay. And it has, it has obviously kind of like settled down. But yes. then I said to you, I have an image to send you. I thought it was pretty obvious what it was in response to. I was and I said, don't look things. at it. Oh, okay. Cause I was doing too many things to like, let it land that you were yes. saying your face is fucked up. Cause then you forgot. Cause then you did fully look at it and you were like, why'd you send me this juice box photo? And I was like, well, I guess we'll pretend that other thing didn't happen. And I was like, yeah, no, no, no. Just for something. I'll tell you later. Here's what I love about this podcast. It just keeps, you know, it keeps me young. It keeps me humble. Um, let me just give you the backstory. Um, while Patrick takes a full hand to hold a straw for his iced coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Like, we get it. You have an iced coffee. Um, so I worked out today on my Peloton. Okay. Now, I don't want to talk about how inspirational it was, but it was. Okay. And I feel I really- like we should have a sound effect of like. <laughs> In your mind. Okay. So uh, it, was a, it was just a different one. Um, okay. I got really crazy there. So. I was on the Peloton this this morning. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying to like get it right and get it tight. And um, which you look amazing. <laughs> thank you. This shirt. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's fighting me down below. But anyways, right. the problem I have is like now that it's summer, um, I'm always warm, and if I work out, I have a red face. So I thought, oh, I'll work out earlier and it'll fade out. But I'm talking. It has been almost two hours of a full red face <laughs> that I am wearing full coverage foundation right now. And like, <laughs> full co- I have to wash my face after this podcast. And you were like, Hey, cool. Purple fucking blush. <laughs> and I was like, this is just, this happened to me when I shot something recently with like, did you get sunburned? And I was like, no, I'm warm. I'm warm and I have to wear a mask inside. <laughs> Not pink, but purple. I'm so pale. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, totally. <laughs> you sent me a story that I didn't, I misunderstood. Yes. I believe I, I said to you that I wanted to talk about <clears throat> Olivia Rodrigo and Joshua Bassett. Yes. Um, uh, on I heard, my quest to stay young and current. Of course, and this is super smart. And I did watch Olivia Rodrigo on SNL, so I can talk about this. Yeah. But you're trying to keep us young. You said Olivia Rodrigo. I heard and interpreted Addison Rae. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> so then you started talking to me about Addison Ray at the MTV Movie Awards being like, yeah, that outfit. And How I was like, lame. I couldn't be more than 35. Addison Ray at the MTV Movie Awards. Is this what the Gen Z's are up to? And they said, no. <laughs> well, what is this? Okay. She looks, her body, like she looks great. I'm just saying as an old woman in an afternoon blouse, I have questions about the belt. She is it a belt? Like TNA pants? Like, what are those? What is this jacket? <laughs> and this little like censored bar over her, her nips, over like, her little nippies. Just, and you can see that she got like nipple covers, obviously. But like, what's this belt? Like, what is this? Is this? It, what's so bizarre is that like, there's so much going on, but it's also trying to do this kind of like black, like it's just like a black outfit, minimal. but then there's just like crazy. Yeah. It looks like, like Lululemon. Yes. I don't want to have to get my glasses out, but I might. And she's wearing like Elisa Renna. Um, Duster. <laughs> Duster. <laughs> like, like I love a blazer. Okay. Always and forever. And then and a again. headband over her nipples. Nipples. And her body does look amazing. But this, And a crown over her waist because that's how big her waist is, is the size yeah. of my head. Yeah, exactly. I just didn't know. But anyways... This is the story I was bringing. Was I was just like, is this the fashions? Because th I those mean, are different fashions than the fashions we had. It's like long nails. Right. I love that they, tops. I feel like they did get my emails. So now it's the MTV movie and TV awards. So oh. that's good. Big changes have happened. <laughs> um, much needed. I, much yeah. needed. So what is this story that you want to talk to us about with uh, Olivia Rodrigo? Um. <clears throat> It's more, okay, there's just this, like, did you see the adorable thing of, like, Joshua Bassett, like, kind of coming out? I don't even oh, know. I, I got who so sad I went into a blur. <laughs> um, who is Joshua Bassett? Okay, so here's what I He's know, which is not singer. much. I think they're all, but definitely him and her, are on high school musical, the show, the musical show. Oh, okay. Literally, whatever. this is not a joke. It is called High School Musical, the musical, the series. Yeah. <laughs> Someone who named that show fell down a hill <laughs> and still had to go to work and was still talking on the way down <laughs> and they just like eventually stopped typing the person who's like transcribing they're like i guess we'll exactly. cut it here the yeah. show the <laughs> <laughs> that's what would happen if you and i were an orb or were haunting people that had to be successful we'd be like i don't know the musical this year i mean just say what it is yes yeah <laughs> okay so joshua bassett literally is replacing zach efron Yes. Okay. Um, and Olivia Rodrigo is, I guess, either Vanessa Hudgens or. Okay. The so other then one. they they had them together dating. Yes, and they were IRL dating. Right now, the, okay. Now, was this like? Is this like a Disney relationship where it's like this is a business deal, and you're cute, and you're cute, and so we'll put you together, no, and we'll say that you're dating. You think that they were really dating? Yeah. Okay. Do you think Vanessa Hudgens and Zac Efron were like originally a real couple? Or do you think that was a business arrangement? I feel like Vanessa Hudgens sucked him off, but I don't know if they were like, <laughs> I, like I. So um, they were together and then they have broken up. Yes. And he started dating. Um, Who? I, I don't know. Like, like. Kelly and Conway or something like <laughs> <laughs> I want to say like Kelly Rogan or, or Kelly. What's her actual name? Claire, Claire, Sabrina, Sabrina Carpenter. Okay. So Olivia Rodrigo was dating Joshua Bassett and then they break up and he starts dating this power wow. attorney <laughs> <laughs> with eyebrows. Yes, she looks like she's in the remake of Freaky Friday. So she's the mom, but she's young. Yeah. yeah. And like she, anyways, the reason I'm having this reaction is she just looks like every girl who made fun of me in high school. <laughs> like the best oh. of like, like, 
Or like, but even like the passive, like, you know, when you're like, you'd go to a dance and they'd be like, you look so cute. And you're like, <laughs> ouch. Okay. So then, but then yeah. now he's dumped her. Did your mom make that? That's so nice. She really loves you. She, your mom. Yeah. She really cares. And it's like, fuck you, Angela. <laughs> what is going on here? Okay. So, um, the funny thing is that this will appeal to no one because the millennials won't care. And the tweens are like, this is literally from three months ago. So Joshua Bassett was dating Olivia Rodrigo. I guess okay. they broke up. I don't know if it was drama, but then he starts yeah. dating um, Sabrina Carpenter. Okay. Um, Olivia Rodrigo releases the best pop ballad since Every Time by Britney Spears. Okay. With driver's license. Driver's license. Um, yeah, yeah. Or maybe the best, sorry. The best pop ballad since, what was that? Like, um, I needed to lose you to love me by Selena okay. Gomez. Because that one also hit the heart. Okay. Wow. So, I just, Selena Gomez giving you the feels? When? Yes. Okay. Well, we can talk about that. Because giving that the feels sense. and taking the kidney. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I heard a conspiracy about that, and it's. I think we've already talked about it on this. The podcast. kidney friend hates her. Apparently, allegedly, allegedly. And Selena said, "No take backs." Yeah, no take backs. I have a cooking show now. <laughs> she writes this song about him. Yeah, she writes the song. She writes the song "Driver's License" about him and the hmm. like, um, and like the blonde other woman. I wonder if that's true. It doesn't matter. It's the greatest song of. Agreed. I'm just saying like the strategic connection with all of these. And again, maybe it's like summer camp theater camp sort of thing where you kind of get like the goggles on and you're like, oh, this is these are my only options. So then we live within that. Like there's that I will say to um, uh, to put some logs on the conspiracy fire. Let's that this is. It. So the thing is, Joshua Bassett seemingly kind of accidentally came out as gay. Great. So, um, so in like an Instagram live or something, probably a TikTok live, probably, I don't even know whatever the new thing is. Um, <laughs> no, totally. We'll get on um, it. Tell us what is it? What yeah. is it? We'll get on it. <laughs> we show up being like pop. <laughs> and they're like, no. They're like, um, granny. Okay. So, uh, so Joshua Bassett was like asked, I think about Harry Styles mm -hmm. and he was like, Oh, I love Harry. He's so great. And he's so hot. And yeah. then he, which, yeah. And then he goes, he kind of goes like, Oh, I guess this is kind of a coming out video. Doesn't say it like jokey is like, Oh, I guess this is also my coming out video. Yeah. And then kind of like, that's that. So everyone's like, Oh my God, did he come out? Like, yeah. That's so great. Like, we love that. Welcome. And then his reps were kind of like, no. Nope. Like, weird. he's not. Weird. Okay. Weird. But then he was kind of like, again, like, he is young. So he was kind of like, I'm, I'm allowed to figure it out. Like, I... Here's what makes me sad. His rep was like, you need to, you need to fix this. And then he was like, oh, I'm... Yeah. Oh. So I wonder... I do think it's interesting that like the Disney stars, just like, I guess like the way they have to be, but it is growing up a little bit. Like again, what do you think? Well, okay. I know. <laughs> this well, I, don't is know make I, don't, I don't know why I'm so upset. <laughs> well, Olivia Rodrigo's song, her first song has the word fuck in it. Yeah. That's don't think bold. I didn't hear that when she had that's, to change it for SNL. That is that's bold. bold. Um, yeah. Because remember, Vanessa Hudgens had the little, like, Vanessa Hudgens, like, phone got hacked with her, like, taking a picture of her little Pusanta. And, like, yeah. she almost got fully banned from everything. Well, I mean, look at Miley Cyrus. Like, I mean, she alludes to, like, so much. I have to look up this one thing while you're talking. Because I saw it on, um, I've, I've Googled something weird now. <laughs> um, and now I'm, I'm actually really upset <laughs> that what, I've done what this. What did you Google? Okay, so there is, okay. Vanessa so, Hudgens, uh, no, child they, naked. No, they're gonna, I'm literally, the cops are gonna come after me. So there was this meme about how Dis all the Disney performers perform the same. And they talk about Disney knees, the Disney knees and the performance where like the knees are bent in. 
Okay. Like they're rocking out and it's okay. all, it's like Hillary yeah. Duff, um, Olivia Rodrigo, uh, Demi. Miley Cyrus, Demi. And they're all like in like almost like a leather tight with like a very chunky heel. I know exactly what, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and so I just Googled Disney knees and let me tell you, there's a lot of Disney adults that want you to know what they love on their knees. Oh no. Ew, of course remove that from my search. Um, okay, yeah. I think this is all fake. I think the Vanessa Hudgens, like I think she's singing about somebody else. I mean, maybe this- she is an amazing artist, or maybe she got handed one of the best pop songs of all time because- Did she write this song? Okay, I don't know. I feel like sh- she would probably say yeah. Also, the other two songs that he's re- that sh- she's released are also bops and like kind of different. Agree. Like she's like doing that thing where like, I remember this from like early Britney where it was yeah. like you bought the pop album and like each song was like kind of a different genre. Like it was just like, like it's like, oh, this is like Rocky Britney. Oh, this yeah. is like country Britney. Right. And like you got all of them on the same album. And I feel like that's kind of what she's giving us. I did watch her on SNL yeah. and she was bringing very much 90s vibes in the first um, song. She had like a slip dress with like Mary Jane kind of like shoes. Yeah. Um, and it was, it was exciting for me to know that pantyhose are coming back sheer, maybe just a touch of color. You know, for me, I love a girdle. I love a holding in. I love a cinch. So it was exciting to me. You're like, just putting it out there, wool pants. What do we think? <laughs> what do we think? <laughs> Camel toe constantly. How are we feeling about that? Um, now she is bringing back a style that I rocked, but it was different. She has this like gorgeous hair and she had two braids. Now, I used to do a braid and a bead. Okay. Oh, like in the hair tie, like you know, like the little. Yeah. Did like, it have? Like, did it have like your initials or did it no. say anything fun? I wish I would oh. have been all over that. Yeah. Um, like it was like a little clang, clang, clang as I moved around. But I was like, wow, um, this looks like a cool look. It was, uh, but she she looked young too. I remember Very getting. I remember getting um, uh, the colored things on my braces. Can, yeah, can we talk about this? Because I did too. Like, I remember, thinking? what were we? I remember being like black and orange for Halloween. Like, we, we are soulmates. And the dentist wasn't like, do you want a second to think? They were like, great, you're festive. They encouraged it. Encouraged. And they it just looked license. like you had a dirty mouth. Like, it looked like. <laughs> Black <laughs> and orange, like you look like you are a pirate with scurvy or something. Like <laughs> me wondering why no one would kiss me, and me walking around for a month, thirty days in October with orange and black and green white for Christmas, green red. Oh, sorry, yes, green uh, yes. red. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe like a uh, like a pink, like a pink purple for Easter. Um, this is just I want to. There's no. There's so many other ways now. If you're listening to this and you're on, you know, the precipice of braces, there's so many ways to express yourself. Don't make it that. Don't make it your teeth. Don't. The sad thing is that they don't. No one else thinks that anymore. Like we don't have <laughs> oh. to warn them. They're like, oh, braces <laughs> should be as again as invisible yes. as possible. And we were like, let's throw some color on here. The biggest, like, the biggest shutdown I had was when my braces finally came off. And I was in high school grade nine. And it was like orientation. So they had just come off and I was going to grade nine orientation. Like I was a butterfly, right? I took some hits in grade six, seven, eight. And I was a butterfly. And here I was in my old Navy wool. And I was, you know, doing the orientation. And this, I can only describe as bully. Um, was standing with like all the guys and she was like, and I was smiling bright cause I was free <laughs> and she's like, Hey Stacy. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> she was like, your teeth are so big. <laughs> like it was just like <laughs> to the point there was no, <laughs> no, no punchline, just no, punch. No missing a tense, a metaphor, a hyperbole. It was <laughs> your teeth are so big. And I was like, noted. Ah! 
Well, we know that. Tell me something about you. (laughs) Walking home so quiet. We didn't have iPods, thank God. So we just had our thoughts, you know? (laughs) Oh, no. That's okay. It got worse. Um, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. This is yeah. so the like, I'm not Josie Grossy anymore. <laughs> I am Josie Grossy. <laughs> I honestly, when you described like the dance, I did picture her. <laughs> <laughs> so it was grade eight. And just to like give you a rundown about me, like, you know, wasn't like super like popular. I was super. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, (laughs) And everyone like took it upon themselves as if I was some charity case to like force me to dance with a boy, which is also so sad. And so at this grade eight dance, they like, were forcing me to dance with this boy and the teacher got in the mix which i now ponder like what, where was she at you know um to do that to me but they all made me dance with this guy and he was just like fine like that kind now, of what vibe. was she going through that she was like <laughs> dance with him because it was a Sadie Hawkins and I didn't ask a guy because like I was What's barely a Sadie old. Hawkins. Sa- uh, Sadie Hawkins is like the girls ask the guy to the dance. It's like the bumble of dances. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. So I mean I these are dark. At a grade eight dance, deeply closeted. Like okay. Deeply closeted, similar hair, okay. um, but more more gel, more middle parted. Um, of course, well, those were the times. Um, uh, glasses, um, frequent comparisons to Harry Potter. Well, um, I don't know why I decided, like, I wanted to ask this girl, Joshua Dassett. <laughs> You're like so hot <laughs> to dance. Okay. But it was like, but I, for some reason seemed to think that I couldn't ask her like normal. Um, and I think a friend got involved, like some, some sidekicky friend of course, and some group of boys being mm-hmm. like, yeah, like, so it was like, we're going to tell the DJ of the party to be like, <sighs> Hey, can we get, um, and then I couldn't, and the, oh, what's so embarrassing is like, I wanted so much to just dance with a girl that they were like, which one? And I was like, um, like, you tell me. <laughs> I think we can all agree. They're all pretty hot and we're all loving the way they're looking. And there's no secret that I am but hiding. So let's go with her. Like, I'm like, Melanie's brows <laughs> have taken a turn. <laughs> like I also love that you were just, like, closeted and you were like, I'm going to ask a girl to dance. But let's add a bit of flair. DJ? <laughs> it was that. It was that. It was, like, me in, like, grade 10, like, trying to hit on this girl who apparently pooed in a garbage can at a party. <laughs> um, <laughs> the first and last name drop in all we have to censor that. And the fact that she shit into a can and you still named it. And I bought her a rose. Well, again, that's taking a turn for me. And I'm glad you named her. That's- <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever have those? So you had those rose days at school. Like This was could- just like I went I went rogue on a rose. On like God. a like went to the florist was like trying to like really do something. It's so clear that you were gay. <laughs> you went to a- the amount of respect. The The amount of respect. Yeah. We had Rose Day at high school um, where like people could buy each other roses. And wow, it was like, does that still happen? That's torture. Yeah, it was. Okay, so quickly, my DJ. um, So this, so the whole thing comes together and it's like. My DJ, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, And it's like, I think I was going to ask. Uh, I was going to ask 
is now an opera singer in India. Oh, cool. um, uh, like she, yeah, she's white. Um, uh, so <laughs> love that for her. Love um, that for her. No, so now who had the voice of a goddamn angel. Right. Um, uh, saying the prayer, um, like I pray you'll be your friend. Um, okay. And I cried. <laughs> um, uh, sexually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so it was that I was going to ask her to dance. And it was like, then I hated, I then switched and I hated the plan. And I was like, I don't want to do it anymore. Like, of course. Like, this is a nightmare. Tell, we have to tell everyone to stop. And I was like, I was like, maybe just going to hide. And then it was like, uh, calling up a Patrick. Ew, like, is ew. there a Patrick in the room? And then I was like, no. Yeah, and no. every and it was like people were like like I was like I stayed in the hall and people were kind of being like the DJ is calling you like you have to go in and I'm like and they're like and a and then she was waiting so I couldn't embarrass her so then it was like and Patrick wants you to dance ew and, yes and then they played um uh I think it was emotion by Destiny's Child. Wow. As we danced, as I danced so far away and people, the older kids were trying to push me closer. Yeah. Why are the kids, why are we doing that? And I wanted to respect Natalie's boundaries. I mean, of course. Of course you did. <laughs> I was very respectful. <laughs> and I was like, like, okay, it's just. And she was like, yeah. Because I feel like you were popular. Then? No. Really? No. No. It was very, um, uh, I think I had what maybe you thought was going to happen, which was my braces came off, um, uh, the contacts went in, and I did start to arrive. That's Um, really fun for you. Like, I actually am really happy. Like, I feel like people should experience the braces to butterfly um, evolution. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So I'll live vicariously. Yeah. Wow. Dances are just, um, they're really tough. They're really hard. I, I feel like I have, you know, PTSD from it in the sense that I can't even use Bumble. Like, what am I going to ask someone out? No, thank you. Um, I will be butt chased and I run fast. So, uh- <laughs> <laughs> so keep running. <laughs> keep Okay, this is a sad story. Then we will move on. I swear I'm okay. <laughs> we're but- going, I think we're, do- we're doing a back and forth of like, I'll be like, this thing happened. And then you're like, this thing. It's like, you're so- no, no, no. Like, I'm okay now. But like, so I was like, <laughs> I'm just thinking I mean, of you're dances. crying. You're crying. But yeah, but I'm also <laughs> laughing. So you guess what the reality is because it could go either way. Um, okay. The worst was that I, it was another Sadie Hawkins kind of thing. And I had a crush on a boy. And, you know, my mother didn't really have the most, you know, best advice, but she was like, you should call this, you know, call this boy and you should ask him to the dance. And I was like, you know, no, I really shouldn't. And my friends were like, you should, you should. And this guy wasn't like super popular, but I feel like guys in high school, like everyone's just kind of friends. Like there's, there was never really like a nerd, a nerd guy. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways. Right. right. You have to be really weird. Yeah. And so this guy, I kind of lived near me and I would like stalk him home. Like, cause you know, like when you had a crush and you're like walking home together, you kind of want to leave at the same time and then be like, Oh my God, are you okay? Right. Yeah. You're walking home. That's crazy. Cause we go to school together and that's wild. Stalking made me think that you just followed him at like a safe distance behind as he walked home. There were days. <laughs> days i spaced it out we couldn't always be walking home together do you know what i mean right i was reading the room um and again without an ipod alone with my thoughts (laughs) um so i finally get up the nerve to like 
call him. Now I should have realized that like, it wasn't going to work out for me as like, he also had my number and it was back in the day where it was like, I'll call you this weekend. And then there's like no call. Um, mm. so I did call him and he did. And then my mom was in the kitchen and I was like, Hey, we should go to the dance. And, um, so like I'm on the phone and I'm like, Hey, we should go to the dance. And he was like, yeah, I don't, um, date girls like that are your size. Like he was like, I don't date fat chicks. He said, I don't date fat chicks. And I had to like take it. And my mom was like in the kitchen. And I was like, one second, <laughs> I'm going to need you to one. So like walked around the kitchen with like the landline phone on the other side. And I was like, <laughs> noted. <laughs> like again, was like, okay. Um, Fun fact yeah. about you. <laughs> Josie. The grossy. Gall. The gall. I mean. Gall of that guy. You're like. The gall. Do you have a boyfriend in high school? (laughs) Okay. Can you, in what, in what world? I went on, I dated this guy for like three Sundays in a row. And the first time he took me out, (laughs) I, (laughs) I, we had like a big bay. (laughs) We had a, (laughs) we had a big bay window in my house. And I was like sitting at the bay window to like look. casual to be like ah, my date's here okay so that's sad or whatever and we've navigated it um but he was like over an hour late to the point where like my parents were like he's not coming obviously <sighs> he shows up an hour and a half late the music was blaring from the truck like punk music blaring like, that's just not my vibe. It's it's a vibe for many, and I'm thankful for that. But, um, and then he doesn't come to the door. I go in, and then we had to stop off at the Mandarin because his friends were there, and then there wasn't enough room at the table, and I sat at a side table by myself <laughs> <laughs> until we were ready to go on our date. And it was like... I think he was like the least cool in the group. And so like, they were like being really mean um, while also trying to support us. Cause they were like, these two gross trolls should date. Cause everyone deserves a lot of love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will end it with one, ah! one, I will end it with one upper. So I okay. was, in- I was okay. I was so I was like, I'm gonna go whatever. There's trauma. But at the end of um, I was in a musical and um there was like me and this other guy who were like not the cool kids, but we were theater kids. And then the okay. two popular kids also wanted to do the play. So they were like, We'll do two casts, so it's fair. And always, yeah. Always. And it's like whatever. Everyone learned to deal. But um the two popular kids went to the teachers. And was like, we have like partners, like we have like boyfriends and girlfriends, whatever. And they would be jealous and be like, kiss each other. Cause we're like the hot, cool kids. So like they made one of the trolls, the theater trolls be <laughs> with them so that they're like, they're- we need a mix and match situation. <laughs> because there was a kiss. So no one will play, be threatened. So no one be threatened. That was wild. That was like, so when I saw, I remember seeing like never been kissed and I was like, I get with the eggs and stuff. I was like, I kind of get this. I get That's this the thing that like, maybe I'm having a hard time with some of these stories. <laughs> Cause you threw the egg. <laughs> <laughs> The one time I almost got a boyfriend in high school, which Mm. is maybe my, um, so I think this just like shows how we, were you about to call yourself Josie Grossy and then decided to not and pushed it back? Like you will not go there. Oh, I didn't even think about it. I love. Okay. And proceed. (laughs) I was going to kind of say like (laughs) how in some ways this kind of, this will illuminate kind of like the different ways that we approach uh, situations, okay, yes, et cetera. Yes. Mm-hmm. So um, it came together on a New Year's party that I was invited to. First difference. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, very much. And this was the older kids having the party. Wow. You were popular. And my, I remember my parents were like, well, whose house is this? And I was right. like, like, Nicole. It's Nicole it's a Cole Miller's house. 
and they were like make up a name or was it nicole miller i don't remember what her name was okay so we'll just call her nicole miller yeah um and my dad was like well we need to talk to her parents and i was like the fuck you are yeah and it was like i i didn't get this invite from her I got this invite from one of my friends who was dating one of her friends. Yeah. So it's like, I'm barely getting this invitation. Yeah. And he was, and he was like, well, we need a phone number. And I'm like, I don't have a fucking phone number. And he was like, well, then you're not going. And I, ha- and I was like, so I'm calling the friend who's dating the older guy who's friends with her being like, you need to get me this phone number. Yeah. And it's like her parents were divorced and like, probably like. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> My parents were divorced. My parents should have been divorced. They would have just let me go. They would have been like, you went to a party? Oh my God. It, she had more that vibe of like, go have fun. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> Barbie brush, Barbie brush time. Go on. Um, so I remember he was like, it was, and it was getting down to the wire because my parents had their own new year's plans. So they were like, well, we're going to this thing. So like, we're either going to drop you off on the way or like you're staying home. Whoa. And it was like, until we get this phone number, like you're not right. going and somehow like nicole miller turned out to be like kind of a low-key goddess where like i had to so i asked the friend who asked the boyfriend who's like the fuck who like asked nicole miller who's like yeah here's the number like they can they can call and we like that and i got the phone number like in the nick of time now similar to your outfit i had purchased a navy cashmere uh, shirt okay. from Holt Renfrew. Um, okay. I mean, don't <laughs> just don't kick me while I'm down. Don't it's like, you're making me like sip a Jackson Triggs and go, yeah, that'll do. Thank you. That's the wine I wanted. <laughs> I got this Navy like cashmere polo. Um, uh, uh, okay. for, for the new year's party. Um, uh, showing up just like correct feeling myself, you know did a yeah. self tan like of course i i was gonna say i imagine you so tanned <laughs> like so tanned self tanned and like immediately rolling up and like grabbing one of the girls being like do you have your bronzer here <laughs> exactly yes i just imagine like when you move there's like shimmer you know yeah from the physician's formula of was it formula the bronze babe or whatever yeah or it was like bare minerals like <laughs> of course which was so chic to me the packaging with such a woman bare minerals <laughs> oh my god bare minimum yeah so oh, yeah. um so i remember like rolling up mm-hmm. um there was weird like heterosexual drama because <laughs> i went to go P with my friend Steph, who right. I now always think of because like before, because A, I would sit down to pee because I thought it was aggressive to be like standing and peeing with my dick out while I'm like Agreed. in the bathroom with like a girl chit chatting. So I sat down to pee and like sometimes before you pee, you fart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like of course. That's not <laughs> <laughs> and I farted and she was like, are you pooing? And I was like, no, I had to fart before I peed. Like, don't, isn't, is that it's not so a, normal? Yeah. I, that's not, and she was like, no, <laughs> she's lying. <laughs> she's lying. Yeah. Um, so then, and it was like, I don't know if there was like banging on the door or something. Somehow her boyfriend was drunk and decided that maybe we hooked up. Oh and it was God. like gonna be a thing and she was a psycho oh, so really? she was like we did why did she do that i don't know and then wow. he was like what so then i kept on having to like have these talks with him in side rooms where he'd be like oh i'd like it look, I'm not mad at you, but like, just tell me, just tell me. And I'm like, it didn't happen. Like still very much gay, like was out. This is too adult for this party. Yeah. And then I remember she was like, oh my God, we didn't like he's gay. And then at new, like, like midnight hits, 
he mm-hmm. kisses her and he says, I love you. And she goes, I don't love you. I love Patrick. And just like, like threw another fuck. And she was like, we did hook up. <laughs> like fucking ignited it all over again. Wild. Wild. Are you still friends with her? Uh, unfortunately, no. Okay. Um, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> You're telling me you didn't pan out? <laughs> she had a near death experience that just turned into a full death experience. Are you being serious? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I didn't party like that at all. Like, I remember one time we had like mint liqueur in my friend's basement and I wouldn't stop talking about it. I was freaking out. I was not cool. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure my friend Alexia like got alcohol poisoning at that party. She like rolled up with a Mickey of vodka and just drank it all and then was like, yay, let's see. And then two hours was just like a dead. Um, yeah. But I, there was like this other gay guy there who was a couple years older. And, um, and I don't know, bare minimum flirting slash conversation. Okay. And then we go up to a room where a straight guy who drank too much is passed out. So on the floor, I suck him off in my Holt Renfrew cashmere sweater. Here's here's what's incredible. <clears throat> I just love how you were like, this is just happening. Like, let's just, there's just, like, how did you navigate that? Was that like your like first experience? No. <laughs> Here you are going, I didn't have a boyfriend in high school. You're sucking everyone off. <laughs> when I say and you have a boyfriend. That's not the gay experience. Uh, like, I love that. <laughs> I love that. I only got theater kissed because I, I was an uggo. Oh. You're sucking off in cashmere. This is bullshit. <laughs> and the thing was, and it was like, like almost like the dance. Like then I heard like Patrick, Patrick, because as like, I literally like, like gulped down. C- my dad was at the door. And you were like, coming. <laughs> And so, and it was like the layout of the house was like, so I, like it was, so my dad is standing in the door, of course, p- probably has his foot out to block the door open or something psychotic. Um, uh, and, and there's like, just, the, okay. And yeah. the staircase, like the bedroom door, I like, can picture it. There's like a opens down to the, yes. to the, so, so I open the door to come out. Mm-hmm. I'm in a completely dark room wearing my my cashmere polo with a cum stain on it with just like yeah. a full little dribbly do um and went down to my dad and got a ride home and was like this was the best night of my life that's what you told your dad no i told myself <laughs> <laughs> i haven't talked to my dad since <laughs> and that's why i have this tattoo that i don't want to talk about <laughs> it's a date but it's not a life or a death it's a thrive. Oh, one. <laughs> oh, one. <laughs> and I, I just, so I, I went on a date with that guy with, with bathroom, with bathroom BJ guy. After. And after. And he met and we were going to go to Moxie's. Of course. And, um, I figured that I <laughs> would like suck him off first. <laughs> Like <laughs> your little appetizer. Okay. I just remember him say what he said to me when he was essentially like, Oh, we're not going to like keep doing this. Why? Was he was like, he was like, I feel like, re- and he's in high school and he okay. was like, I feel like relationships are a triangle and you, that you work up to. And I feel like we started at the, top of the triangle okay and i don't know how to find our way back to like the beginning you just ask me what my name is <laughs> <laughs> we go from there or like Did- i don't know fucking flip it upside down i don't care let me suck your so dick he, he just thought you were moved too quickly yeah it- okay and i had to pretend that i agreed <laughs> oh <laughs> like yeah. i was like yeah. Ooh. Totally. Like I'm like, I'm literally being like trying to unzip being like, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
too and much. And you weren't in high school. This was before high school. <laughs> before high school? No, you were like, he was in high school. So oh, sorry, like, so sorry. We are, we were both very much in high school. Okay. But is he older? Yes. And, but he was out. It wasn't like he was like closeted. He was out. I think he was doing like a victory lap or like OAC. Wow. And so he said to you, this is moving too fast. I can't do that. That seems wild. Yeah. He had like a weird job where he was working like, th- he was like a nighttime security guard at like a ex- very expensive house being built. So he would okay. just like sit and make sure no one like, I don't Came know, stole the, the marble or something. Yeah. And, uh, and I remember going to visit him and sitting in this like, in this security booth and again just being like am i gonna suck your dick suck you up. and he didn't want he wanted to get to know you yeah so I we mean, t- did he want to get to know you or was he just like this went too far and like we're just too far gone now and then you were like cool cool, cool. i think so he you did were- make some attempts to get to know me and i was just a come hungry dick pig and you know what it's the strength of knowing who you are yeah. Also, you're in high school. You'd think that you would just want to like get down and be nasty. Yeah. Cause I, and I remember I, and I let, like, we just like said, go, we like hung out and then like said goodbye. And I like was leaving being like, this is so weird. And I think he texted me, like, I really wanted to kiss you or something. I was like, like <laughs> drove back. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this well, was a very special high school episode. Yeah, it was very high school musical. Oh the musical, the series, the podcast. Oh my God. Title. If you have an embarrassing high school story, record it, send it to us. We will play it and we will react. Yes. Oh my God. Please, please, please send us uh, embarrassing high school stories. I In love way, those. Me too. Send us your emotional nudes. <laughs> Send us your emotional nudes. And then follow it up <laughs> with that real, real dick. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we promise to wear cashmere when we look at them. <laughs> <laughs> um, or an Old Navy wool blend. We <laughs> know who will be wearing what. I'll bring the photo. Uh, <laughs> bye, friends. We'll see you next week. Bye. bye.